Praise the Lord, my friends. Bam, bam, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Friends, I'm happy to see you. So happy to be back in the seats, in the glory seats, in this glory broadcast. Amen. Let me just adjust it here. Praise God. Um, I'm back in the studio. I hope you all have missed me. I've missed you. And uh, it's good to be back here in the hot seat, in the glory seat. Bang, bang. I have a word to share with you. There's a lot I want to discuss. But pretty much all week, you're, you're going to be seeing me live, which is great news, is it not? It's great news. It's always good when a man of God is back home in town, when a man of God is able to prophesy and to declare the word of the Lord. It's always good news. Amen. Every day you wake up, it's always good news. But I have some great news to share with you today. I want to talk about an encounter I had with the angel of the Lord and uh, the angel of good news. Somebody say amen. But uh, I'm back here in the studio. Uh, tonight we have an incredible uh, Miracles Night Live session here at the studio. Broadcasted exclusively on YouTube Live. So uh, get ready for that. Friends, it's Dr. B. Lim. I'm back from my one week of vacation. I had a wonderful time. Uh, blessed and refreshed. And I'm happy to be back home. I'll tell you that. Very happy to be back home. Uh... Who here knows that just having rest and alone time, I mean, you don't necessarily need to have these visions or downloads or these end time revelations, but just spending time to collect yourself and to be with God, that's just the most important thing. So I had a great week of vacation. I'm sure maybe, maybe many of you, you, you were wondering why your boy Dr. Belam has been silent. Amen. Natalie... I've been praying for you, wondering where you've been. Bless you. But uh, I'm happy to be back in the studio, and you're going to be seeing me go live pretty much all week. We're going to be hitting it hard. So bam, bam. May is the month of harvest. May is a month of rest and reset. And I want you to just come in mega grace, because grace is coming to your space. Grace is coming to your face and uh, to your place. <laughs> And uh, so I want to talk to you about the Archangel of Good News. I got some great news for you, friends. I got some great news. Amen. So let me know where you're watching from. Help me to build up the room. Give us some hearts and likes. Tag somebody. Share, share, share. Because I've not been live for about a week. I've been a little MIA, a little incognito. There are a lot of things going on. A lot of great things. Praise God. And, of course, we had a wonderful conference in Santa Maria, California with Steve Swanson. And then tonight, we have our Miracle Nights live at the studio exclusively at YouTube Live. You can see me at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. And then later this weekend, I'm going to be in Chicago. And by the way, I know it glitches. I've been trying to fix this for hours and hours. And I don't know why it doesn't fix. But bang, bang, you got a little glitch. Ain't that right? So, um... This weekend, I'll be in Chicago. Next weekend, where am I going to be next weekend? Next weekend, I'll be in Dallas, Texas. And in the weekend after that, I'll be in Arizona. And after that, I'll be in Pennsylvania. After that, I'll be in Miami. After that, I'll be in Cuba. After that, I'll be in Kansas City. After that, back in Dallas. After that, I'm supposed to be in Hawaii. Then Vancouver, Canada. Then India. I'll be coming to India. Isn't that incredible? I'll be coming back to India. Somebody say amen. So that is uh, my schedule for the next two months or so. But today I want to talk about the Archangel of Good News. So bam, bam, let me know where you're watching from in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to give you some shout outs here. Hallelujah, mega grace. So glad you had a week of rest. Thanks, Rhonda Lee. Appreciate you. Hello, Providence Ivana. Demetrius, what's up? I'm Jay Z. Hey there, Susan. Good to see you, my friends. Fig Victoria Yaxine. Pastor Carlos, I was just thinking about you. Bless you, my friend. We had a great time with you at your church. Lord, please send me major grace. Amen. Grace upon your face, Laura. Maurice, yes, yeah, see you in Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Albuquerque, Lisa, what's up? Hallelujah. Love Israel. I was wondering where you've been, Natalie. I know you've been MIA. Dana Ash, bless you, bless you. Colleen Julie's bless you, Shalom. 
Rabasata, Angel Aviles, God bless you. Sonia Dion, God bless you. Laura, yes. Michigan, Terry Ann, hello, hello. Always missing you all. Thank you. Tracy Davis, shalom to you. Well, friends, lift up your hands. Praise God, North Carolina. Father, I thank you for every single person that's connected to this broadcast. And I thank you for miracle signs and wonders. And I thank you that every spirit of delay is coming to an end. And you're releasing great breakthrough. You're releasing open heavens right now. Come on. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. I feel such a sense of expectation and a stirring. So, Father, I thank you right now. Every single person connected to the sound of my voice. I think from miracle signs and wonders that you are making a way where there seems to be no way. So I declare fire. I declare fresh fire in the name of Jesus. Listen, I just feel I just feel a few things right now. We're going to deal with it. There's some of you watching right now. You feel like you are in a lull. L-U-L-L. -L -L. You are in a lull. And it's almost like a loophole, but you feel like you're stuck. You feel like I'm not moving, God. I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like my feet are in the miry clay. If that's you, I want you to come and that's me. And remember, the Lord said May is a month of reset because it's a month of grace. It's the month of Shavuot, of Pentecost, where the church was rebirthed. So there was a great reset in the church. There was a rebirthing, a renewal in the church. And I know that many of you, you're feeling like, when are the promises of God going to come to pass? What am I doing with my life? You're questioning, you're wondering, you're wondering, you are meandering around the musing thoughts of, what am I doing right now? And trust me, it means that God's about to redefine and re-clarify the vision. Right the vision uh, and make it plain so that the reader who reads it will run with it. So I want to declare right now that there's a running anointing. There's a comeback anointing that's coming upon you now in the name of Jesus. And all of those who feel like, who feel like you are in a lull or you're, you're in a delay or you're just kind of stuck wondering like what's going on. I hope the fern makes the heart sick, but desires fulfilled is the tree of life. If that's you, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for miracles and breakthroughs. I think you're right here, right now. The Lord says, I'm re-clarifying. I am re-clarifying. I am resetting. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, I'm setting you up on a rock so that you will not be shaken. I, I see and I hear the Lord saying, I am setting you up on a high place and you will not be brought down, torn down. You will not be shaken. So, Father, I thank you for unshakable faith. I want you to comment unshakable. I think for unshakable faith, unwavering faith, and I declare the question mark is turning into an exclamation point. You better praise God, because by the end of this month, there's going to be such an exclamation point of fire, baptism and tongues of fire. Come on, people of God. This is the weekend of Pentecost. This weekend is Pentecost Sunday. So I want to declare fresh fire, baptisms of the Holy Ghost to come upon you in Jesus' name. Now, there's another group of people right now, my gosh, you know that something great is right around the corner. You know something great is right around the corner, but you can't quite put your finger on it. You can't quite define it, because remember, you are in a redefining, re-clarifying stage and season right now. But as many of you, you, you know something great is right around the corner, but you can't quite put your finger on it or define it because there's a momentum, there's an acceleration or some, and I want to declare you a suddenly is coming to you. There's going to be a suddenly, like a, a freight train, a 18 ton truck is about to hit your face, is about to come your way. So suddenly are about to take place and manifest in Jesus' name. And I believe that many of you right now, you know something big's around the corner. Don't give up. Don't give in. Continue to pray and seek the face of God. Go deeper in the Holy Ghost. Go deep in Jesus' name. Amen. Go deeper in the Lord. Because the Lord's about to do a miracle in your life. So I want to declare over you the spirit of delay. The spirit of self-sabotage, and how about this, self-pity. Some of you are experiencing self-pity. 
it's it's a false spirit it's a demonic spirit the spirit of self-pity is a spirit of delay and sabotage it's a lie manipulative spirit but i break it now in jesus name and all of god's people say amen amen and amen my gosh am i reading your mail or is this just totally off the richter off the radar amen so lift up your hands father i thank you fire fresh fire mega winds of change mega movement mega momentum every stuck and stale and dry place will have life abundance in jesus name if you receive that say amen in fact i just heard in my spirit right now miracle money i just heard in my spirit right now miracle money as i released the word movement winds of change bam bam i just saw and heard miracle money so by the end of this month get ready for miracle money this is pentecost month it's pentecost harvest shavuot which is actually in june but whenever it's the feast of god it's always circulating surrounded with harvest amen so do not grow weak or weary or tired do not be discouraged or dismayed because a harvest is coming my gosh, come on. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your prayer language. Begin to pray into that word, harvest. From this weekend to Shavuot, there's going to be such a harvest of miracles, opportunities, signs and wonders, harvest of financial blessing, promises fulfilled. Masa kera broso tarabra. In the name of Jesus. We cover it now and we seal it by the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Somebody say amen. Listen, if you receive that, I want you to clap your hands, give us some hearts and likes, and I want you to shout amen. Hallelujah. Well, people of God, I'm happy to be back in the studio. Like I said, I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be home and ministering for the next few days online. So come and catch me outside. Amen. Listen, I'm so excited to see you and to be with you. I can honestly say I've missed you. And it's really been good for me to just unplug for the last week, even though, uh, and here's the thing, I'm just kind of digressing right now. Uh, many times, if you don't use the gift, you will lose it, which means whenever I'm moving in the realm of revelation, I get fresh revelation, right? So how do you receive or step into fresh revelation? By moving in the realm of revelation, which means uh, unless you're moving in the river, you're not going to get the next revelation, gift, blessing that God has for you. So you have to be moving in faith in the spirit to receive, achieve the next. Someone say amen. Um, but this week has been very good for me even though I've wanted to minister and I've wanted to release the word of the Lord, but it's been good for me just to quiet my soul with no agenda, just introspectly searching my heart, going deep with God. Am I happy with where I'm at in my life? Am I happy in this season of my life? We're almost at the mid-year mark of 2024. Do you believe it? And it's important for us to reset, refresh, and to have that clear understanding between you and God and say, yeah, this is my portion. This is my allotment. This is where I'm meant to be. And for you to feel happy, secure, and grateful about that. Does that make sense? So I believe many of us, we are in that introspective, um, check your engine, check your oil moment. Because God's about to launch you afresh and a great in Jesus' name. Remember, Pentecost was the birthing of the church, which means that there's a new birthing coming forth. There's a new release that's coming forth. If you believe that, say amen. So listen, today I want to talk to you about the Archangel of Good News. The Archangel of Good News. And for our team who's going to cut and paste this into YouTube, this is a good place time to do that but i want to talk about the archangel of good news and i ministered this um last weekend when i was in santa maria you see a few weeks ago i was in miami florida and i'll be coming back to miami in june which i'm very happy about but i was in miami florida and i had an encounter with the archangel gabriel 
Now, I know some of you, you might think that's weird. Well, you're weird. How about that? Your lack of faith, your unbelief is weird. How about that? Um, but let me just share a little bit of how I encountered the Archangel Gabriel, how I encountered this realm, right? As I was reading the Word of God, the, the Scripture, all of a sudden, as I read Gabriel, boom, in my spirit, man, it's like a light shone. And it's like I encountered the angel Gabriel as I read the name Gabriel in the Bible. So isn't it incredible? Whatever you read comes to life. Whatever you read manifests. Whatever you look at will become your destiny. So as I read that name, that word Gabriel in the scripture, which we're going to go into in a little bit. As I read that, boom, all of a sudden it's like, the angel of the Lord Gabriel manifested in my spirit. And then there was a download of a prophetic word that God began to give me to release to the church. If you're with me today, say amen. So I want to talk to you about this angelic encounter of Gabriel because I believe God's releasing the realm of good news. He's releasing the realm of good news. Now today there's so much fake news, bad news. Sad news. Listen, friends, we are in a season of good news. It does not matter what the world is saying. It does not matter what's happening all around. You and I, we live in the realm of good news. Someone say amen. By faith. Because this is the reality of every born-again believer, of every lover who's in intimate relation with Jesus Christ. So first and foremost, I had this encounter with the angel Gabriel. And I felt to my spirit, the Lord say, the realm of good news is being released. The realm of good news, good news angels are being released. Are you ready for a proclamation, announcement of good news over your life? I want to say good news. Now listen, there's going to be good news happening in your life, your family, your finances. There's going to be things being paid off, good news, miracle money, miracle checks, all right, salvations, prodigals returning, promotion, promises, prayers, prophecies being fulfilled. It's happening. It's coming to pass because of the realm of good news. Somebody say amen. So I want to talk to you about this encounter, and I want to prophesy over you about the angel of good news. Somebody say amen. Now let's go over to Luke 119. Hallelujah. Luke 119. The angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. And I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. Amen. Now we see in this passage specifically, the archangel Gabriel is encountering, uh, is encountering, what is that, Zechariah, right? Let's just go here before I botch it. I know it in the back of my mind, but I want to be as clear. Hallelujah. Shakaraba Soto Roboto. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Zachariah the priest. So here the angel Gabriel comes and brings Zachariah and his wife, of course, Elizabeth, good news. Now when you study angelology and the hierarchy, the realm of angels, there's many different types of angels. In fact, uh, Gabriel is known to be an archangel. But you have to understand that archangels are not the highest ranking angels in the kingdom or in the realm of angels. All right. Archangels are actually one of the mid to lower. Right. And so these archangels oversee that realm or typology of angels, okay? So here Gabriel oversees the angelic realm of good news, oversees the angelic realm of good news. And we see specifically here, of course, contextually, scripturally, historically, you can say, well, Gabriel was giving the good news that they were having a child, John the Baptist, and that John the Baptist was going to be a forerunner prophet of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. So yeah, contextually you can say, oh yeah, 
Gabriel only appeared, I need you to hear me, Gabriel only appeared for that purpose. Well, let me tell you, that is not the only time Gabriel showed up historically. Maybe it's one of the only times listed and mentioned in the Bible, amen. In fact, there's only really two times, two places where Gabriel is mentioned in the Bible. However, it's not the only. Just because it's only in the Bible doesn't mean he only showed up twice, which is accounted in the Bible, and that was it. No. The realm of Gabriel of good news is showing up everywhere all the time. Hopefully that makes sense. And I believe right now the Lord is releasing the realm of Gabriel, the realm of good news. So specifically, yes, amen, Gabriel shows up to give good news about the coming Messiah and of John the Baptist. But also you have to see that Gabriel also showed up here in Daniel chapter 9. Amen. Daniel chapter 9. Verse 21. Let's go over here to this passage. Thank you, Lord. Shata Rabatia Rabata. Daniel chapter 9, verse 20 and on. While I'll speak and pray and confess you my sin. And that of my people Israel presented my petition before the Lord my God concerning his holy mountain. While I was still praying, Gabriel the man I had seen in the earlier vision, my gosh, came to me in swift flight about the time of evening sacrifice. I want to say swift flight. So you see in this encounter, Gabriel encounters Daniel, the prophet Daniel, while Daniel was praying, while Daniel was Re release these petitions to God. Amen. And Gabriel comes in verse 22. He instructs and speaks. I have now come to give you insight and understanding. My gosh. At the beginning of the petitions, an answer went out. And I have come to tell you, for you are highly precious. So here you see Gabriel is carrying this answer. Gabriel is bringing this answer is answering this answer of petition or prayer request instruction insights to Daniel. Somebody say amen. So here there is a swiftness. And I want to declare over you, there is a swift coming of instruction, prophetic insight, understanding. An answer from the throne of God is coming to you in Jesus' name from on high. If you believe that, say amen. So here Gabriel comes to bring good news, swiftness, instruction, insight, and understanding. He's bringing like a mother that carries a child. Gabriel is carrying good news, is carrying the answer, is literally the embodiment of God's release of blessing. Amen. So... A few weeks ago when I was in Florida, I encountered the angel of Gabriel. And the Lord said, tell my people that good news is coming. Tell my people that good news is coming. Now, I love etymology, the study of words. And whenever you study the Bible, you want to go to the root word. You want to go to the root meaning. Now, Gabriel in Hebrew is Geber El. And Geber means to be strong, mighty, and prevail. Now, El, of course, is the name of God, El Shaddai, Elohim, El Elah. So El is the name of God. And so we see Geber El, Gabriel, Geber means strong, mighty, and prevail. I want to propose to you that when you receive the good news of the Lord, when you receive instruction, wisdom, insight, when you receive the understanding from God above, that causes you to be strong, mighty, and to prevail. Amen. You need this good news. I want to declare over you, good news is coming. No more bad news, fake news, sad news. No more drama. No more demonic witchcraft, hex, vex, hectic nonsense. Good news is coming to you. You need good news to be strengthened. 
You need to put your trust and hope in the Lord. Of course, the good news of the gospel is that salvation is for all. Jesus came, Christ crucified. He came in a body as a baby of a virgin birth. That's good news. That's the gospel, 100%, 1,000%, amen. However, in the realm of Jesus, of his kingdom, you have to know that good news is your portion. You have to know that good news is not a one-time event at salvation. Good news is not just when you confess with your mouth that you're a sinner and now you are saved in Jesus Christ. Oh, no, good news is your destiny. It's your reality. It's the realm of revelation that you live in that, that's for your children, for your children's children. Come on, I want to cancel out any bad news, any false doctor's reports, cancer reports, any IRS tax evasions, any invasion of evil demonic distraction we cancel it expect good news somebody shout hallelujah and as i was sharing this last weekend in santa maria i was reminded of papa prophet paul kane who's ever heard of paul kane who's ever heard of the kansas city prophets well paul kane was a spiritual papa to me and i've had the honor of being around him for the last few years of his life but he was one of the original Kansas City prophets, along with James Gall and Larry Randolph and, and uh, Bob Jones, John Paul Jackson. But as I ministered this word last week, I was in Santa Maria, the home of Paul Cain. And I was reminded of Paul Cain's vision from years ago. And here's the vision that the man of God, prophet seer Paul Cain had years ago. He said, good news, good news. All I see is good news. There's no more bad news. The streets are filled with souls. Stadiums are packed with souls. A wheelchair goes up here. Someone here is healed. Someone here is raised from the dead. Good news, good news. All I see is good news. No more bad news. No more crime. No more evil. No more injustice. And this was a prophetic word that Papa Prophet Paul Cain had, which is also connected to the billion soul harvest. Somebody say amen. I want you to say good news. I want you to say all I see is good news. Gaber L, the angels of good news, they are proclaiming angels. They are prophesying angels. They are angels of announcement, of proclamation. They are angels of speech are you hearing me today good news is coming many typologies many pictures depict gabriel as holding a shofar now friends get ready for shofar blast get ready for jubilee anointing get ready for death cancellation come on this is a favorable year of the lord get ready for announce an annunciation proclamation God is about to announce good news over your life. There's going to be good news in the courts of heaven and in the courts of earth. We're going to see an overturning of every evil Biden regime, Bidenomics. You're going to see good news in your family, in your health, in America, in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Have you been sad? Have you been low, depressed? Friend, what's going on in America? in the world today it's unprecedented unprecedented all of this nonsense has been planned in devious ways for decades and centuries huh but god has a plan and the plan is good news the plan is christ crucified the plan is jesus died and rose again on the third day the plan is i desire to know nothing outside of the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's the key, friends. Good news is your portion. And I believe as I encountered the angel of good news and the Lord downloaded this prophetic word of my spirit, the Lord said, get ready for the realm of good news. He's releasing angels of good news. Come on. Knock, knock. Who's there? I want to declare over you. Get ready for knocks on your door. There's going to be 
a delivery package released to you. There's going to be good news sent to you. There's going to be blessings, packages of goodness, of glory. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And my head will run it over with fresh oil. And he shall anoint me. And I will feast before my enemies. There's going to be good news all around. Amen. If you've been experiencing some bad news, some unfortunate things, listen, we're living in the world, we're living in Bidenomics, we're, there's so much witchcraft around nonsense, I want to declare over you good news. Be encouraged, because the realm of good news is over your life. And I believe God is releasing Gabriel, Gabriel. He's releasing these angels of good news to prophesy, to declare, to proclaim, to announce of what's to come, what's to take place in your life. If you believe and receive that, say amen. I want you to shout good news. There's a realm of good news coming, my friends. And we as believers, we need to stay in faith. We need to be encouraged. We need to rejoice. We need to, you better praise God. I said, you better praise God. There's going to be miracle checks, miracle money, miracle opportunities, miracle salvations. Miracle turnarounds, miracle healing, miracle destiny. There's going to be good news all around in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. Isn't it incredible? We see, uh, you know, we see Russell Brand. We see these Hollywood A-list actors coming to Jesus. There's good news all around. Hallelujah. And I want to declare good news over Trump. For there's going to be good news coming on November 5th in Jesus' name. Amen. Good news in your family, in your health, in your life, in your ministry, in your business, in the name of Jesus. So what news are you listening to? What news channel are you watching? Remember, my friends, God's about to pronounce and announce. And I see even now in the Spirit. The Lord is saying, get ready for papers, get ready for papers, get ready for scrolls of heaven, scrolls of destiny. Amen. My God, I want to just post two verses here. Luke 130, concerning the angel of good news. Luke 130, the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. I need you to shout favor. You found favor with God. Don't be afraid, my friends. You're looking at your bills. You're looking at what's going on. Rekanda, don't be afraid. Do not let that spirit of fear and terror of the night. Do not let it come near you, near your house, near your mind. Don't be afraid, for you have found great favor with God. If you receive that, say amen. If God can say such a thing, to a little humble Jewish nobody girl named Mary. How can he not say that to you, O oh darling of God? O oh precious one of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rebe Soto. The Lord says you have found favor. Favor. Favor with God. One moment of favor will outlast a year's or a lifetime worth. A famine. Did you catch that? One moment of favor will do more than a lifetime worth of famine. Lord, if I've found favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I've crossed the highest mountains. I've traveled near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. I've got to be where you are. I want to be where you are. Someone say good news. I want to destroy, annihilate, obliterate every bad prophetic word you believed. 
every lying, manipulative, deceptive, marine spirit, Leviathan. I want to destroy right now. <laughs> every you better shred it into pieces right now. In fact, right now, by faith, by faith. I need you to lift it up in the spirit like it's on a piece of paper or it's on a scroll by faith. And I need you to rip it into pieces, shred it, shot. It's done. It's finished. It is not your destiny. What the doctor said, what your boss said, what your mother said, what the news said, what Biden said is going to be a harsh winter. Oh, the devil is a liar. You need to rip it off into pieces and shred it. Because good news is your portion. There is a release of the angels of good news. And when good news hits your spirit, then you become mighty and strong. My God is so big. My God is so might. You become strong and mighty when the realm of good news comes upon you. I want to declare over you the tide is turning. Your name is changing. The Lord's releasing angels of good news across America over your life. He's not done with you. Don't believe in a lie. Don't believe in a lie that says I'm too old or I missed it or this and that, my friends. The Lord's releasing the realm of angels and the angel of good news. Somebody say amen. All I see is good news. All I see is good news. Number one. There will be no more bad news in your life. No more bad news. Uh-uh. That's not your destiny. It's not your portion. Number one, no more bad news. Number two, no more fake news of gossip, of fear, lies, slander. No more fake news in your life. Number three, good news over your family, finances, and your health. There will be good news. Over your family, finances, and health. And number three, you will be strengthened and encouraged by the realm of good news. If you receive that, say amen. If you receive that, say hallelujah. I believe in this season, specifically, God is releasing the angel of good news. He's releasing Gabriel. He's releasing the realm of good news. He's releasing faith, hope in the gospel, in the God of the gospel. Hallelujah. If you believe that, say amen. Now listen, friends, all of you watching online, tonight we have a YouTube live, Miracle Nights live at the studio. It will be exclusively on YouTube. Amen. It will be exclusively on YouTube. So I would love to see you there. Make sure you watch at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. Amen. So I'm just posting right here. Glory be to God. Amen. Shred it into pieces, my friends. Gisela. Hallelujah. And listen, I also... I've pinned it to the top here, so join us tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. And also, I have an upcoming Zoom webinar. I was originally supposed to do it yesterday, but I was tired and yada, yada, yada. But we've moved it to next Monday, May 20th, on the spirit of holiness. All right, we're going to go deep, two, three hours on the teaching of holiness. The spirit of holiness. Did you know the Bible talks about the spirit of holiness? It's one of the names of Holy Spirit, one of the names, manifestations of the Holy Ghost. But I want to see you next Monday, amen? It's free, hallelujah. So I want you to RSVP, praise God for a webinar. Hallelujah! And that's going to be powerful. There's going to be ministry. There's going to be prayer. And that's going to be next Monday, May 20th. And like I said, this weekend, I'm going to be in Chicagoland with my good friend, Apostle John Veal. 
Deborah B., God bless you. From Israel. Shalom. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Well, listen, friends, lift up your hands. Good news is coming to you. And I declare May will be filled with good news. I know we're halfway through May. But this month, from this day on, from this moment on, will be filled with good news. Your month of May will be filled with good news. Every single day will be filled with good news. If you believe that, say amen. Father, I thank you for Terry Ann, for Kashika, bless them. Roberts in Israel, Edna, God bless you, Denise G, Melissa Bragasa, Demetrius Deshini, Cynthia, God bless you. Andy Fraser Curry, Marie Flores, Zareen Chia, Holly Elizabeth Lawyer, Gisela Herberta, Joanne Gonzalez, Ozada Marani, Maurice Cole, bless you. Come on, good news. It's, it's just like being smeared over your head. Mary, God bless. Pastor Sharon, Michael Deborah Escobar, amen. Good news, good news. Doris and Santiago, Diana L. And I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. All of my heart sings hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much, but I have nothing else fit for a king. Julie Nakin, Alvaro, good to see you, Alvaro. Amen. Leanne Garcia, amen. Riddle Maritha, Sharabara, yes. Rabba Soto Rabata, amen. Someone say good news. That's right, Denise G. Favor is falling upon you in Jesus' name. Well, friends, I love you. Tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, join us for our YouTube Live. Uh, as we will have live worship, anointed worship, and as well, I'll be ministering tonight live at the studio, and you could watch live on YouTube. We're doing these about once a month, these Miracle Night Lives. And these are like mini conferences, so incredible. So please, please try to come, fly in, drive in for the next one. Our next one is going to be June 10th, June 10th, Monday, Miracle Nights Live. But I love you, friends. Bless you. If this word blessed you, make sure you like and share. Love you. Bless you. See you tonight, 7 p.m. on YouTube Live.